What is the difference in price between a return on the fastest express train and the fastest journey that leaves by bus after 9.30 and returns by the fastest Route B car? First, let's look at the train. Express services have a double star and the fastest one of those by inspection, checking between the departure times and the arrival times, is the 11.02 and that costs £42.50 for a return. Also, the fastest bus that leaves uh, the fastest journey that leaves by bus after 9.30 is the 10.45 and we want a single for that because we're returning by car so that's going to be £11.50. Now we know, need to know how to return by the fastest Route B car. So we know that the 60 mile per hour car goes on Route B but either of these could use Route B so we need to check which one is which. If we calculate the distance of travel for both of these routes then we can compare it to the route A and route B here. We know that distance is speed times time. So let's calculate that first for the 55 mile per hour one. Distance in this case is 55 multiplied by the time, which we need to write as a decimal. So we'll write it in minutes, that's 130 minutes, then divide it by 60 minutes in an hour, which gives us a decimal number of hours. That's 119 miles. We'll do the same thing for the 65 mile per hour journey. So by comparing these here and these here, clearly this is route A and this is route B. So we need to select which of these two route B's want, B ones to use. And the fastest out of either the 60 or the 65 is actually, in this case, the 65. So that costs us £20. Now let's find the difference between the price of the train journey and the combined price of that bus and car journey. So the train journey we know costs £42.50. I'm going to have to take away the combined price of these two, which is £20 plus £11.50, which gives us £11 exactly.